Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use a VGA or a DVI. Yeah, uh, you can even display port, but usually those have HDMI too. But I'm going to show you how to use those on PS4. Since the PS4 only have HDMI ports, you will need one of these. This is an HDMI to VGA adapter. And when you buy these, you want want to make sure that the they have something like this, usually a micro micro USB port. So otherwise, it will not work with the base port. Unfortunately, it will only work with PC if you don't have one of those. And they those usually have audio ports too, if you have speakers in your monitor as well. So yeah let's get right into it as you can see here is the VGA cable from the monitor and all you gotta do is plug in the uh, adapter to that it's pretty hard to do with one hand so I'm gonna cut this out so when that's plugged in now you just have to plug it into your HDMI port to the PlayStation 4 and when that's plugged in you have to find a micro USB cable with USB and micro USB so yeah what you will have to do is plug the USB into the PS4 as easy as that and then you gotta find the other end of the cable micro USB one and plug it in to the port right here can I do it with one hand uh, doesn't look like that <laughs> yeah it's not completely plugged in yeah okay so now as you can see the micro USB is plugged in to the adapter make sure it's all the way in some of them are pretty hard to get in yeah, so now all you gotta do is turn on the PS4 and see if it works. So yeah, turn on the monitor and then turn on the PS4 and then just wait. It said no signal and then it became black but the PS4 is still turning on. So just keep waiting. I'm sorry for the filming. I know. Yeah, the PS4 is still turning on, and now it works. Uh, it's setting up. It don't usually do this, but mine does right now. Yeah, now the PS4 is turning on, and yeah, I usually use my PC, but I just want to make this tutorial because it seems to be helpful. Because I made another video of it but that video was terrible to be honest and this is probably yeah and the ps4 is on <laughs> i don't have the controller right here it's downstairs but yeah you can see it works and some the reason why you have to use the micro usb as you can see i'm plugging this out uh, it needs the power because then it's just black. You need you need to have the micro USB cable plugged in for it to work. And uh, now I'm just gonna go downstairs and get the control. So yeah, if you have one of those HDMI to VGA adapters without a power supply, I don't know what to call it, but without one uh, micro USB port, it will only be plug it out like this sometimes it's a no signal sometimes it comes up just a black screen in my case it's just a black screen so yeah make sure you buy one of those I've made the same mistake with not buying with a micro USB port so yeah let's show you it actually works in 10 1080p all the screen resolutions work as long as you have one of those 
So yeah, now my PS4 is on, as you can see. Go to settings, by the way my PS4 <laughs> is on Norwegian, but yeah. And then you go to sound and screen, I think it is in English. Video uh, settings, 1080p, it works completely fine. And yeah, in some cases only 720p will work. But it's not that bad screen res resolution. It works, but it's not as good as 1090p though. And yeah, I have RGB area or I don't know <laughs> on full. And yeah, I don't have HDR and that stuff. It's 60 hertz. Everything works just fine. So yeah, I think this was the tutorial. And. Yeah, I'm actually gonna link the HDMI to VGA port uh, down in the description. And yeah, I don't have a lot of games because as I said earlier, I used my PC instead. But yeah, this was just a little tutorial. Make sure to drop a like if this was helpful. And consider subscribing for more videos like this and stuff. So yeah, see you guys. Bye.